which catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. <coughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm. Peppa, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> 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 George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie, and Danny are on the playground. <laughs> are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! George is a bit too little for the roundabout. He is playing on the swing. 
here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sandpit. <laughs> <laughs> George and Richard love the sandpit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. <laughs> oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sand castle. Your brother broke my brother's sand castle first. Now, now! You two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right. We're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm. I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <laughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <laughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look, George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. The long grass. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Oh! The grass has not been cut for a while. It has grown very long. Come on, George! <laughs> George, where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> George, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Pepper and George cannot see each other. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. <sighs> What a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. 
<laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. <laughs> Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> 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 Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. We'll have this grass cut in no time. Hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> see is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there. Finished. Grandpa, you've missed a bit. Oh, yes. What's this? Oh, the spotty ball. <laughs> thank you for finding our ball, Grandpa. And thank you for cutting the grass. Cutting grass is easy with Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> now we can play with our spotty ball. <laughs> to you, Daddy. The ball bounces very well on the short grass. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> Papa Egg. Oh, 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 oh. Catch. <laughs> Dance. Peppa and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. They're going to play in their treehouse. Peppa and George love their treehouse. Here are Peppa and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This treehouse is for girls only. <laughs> What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the treehouse. It isn't fair. Ho, ho. I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? 
there. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle! Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho. Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <coughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> <laughs> The rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Oh, oh. I'll look after your castle, Daddy. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys. A baby piggy. Peppa and George are visiting their big cousin, Chloe. Today, as well as seeing Chloe, you are going to meet your new cousin. Ooh. Peppa and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa and George. This is Chloe, Peppa and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Pepper, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. And it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? Yes. 
<laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah! Is this a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl, baby. OK, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh, no. It can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo! It's so clever and so handsome! <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. Wow! A proper real baby piggy! <laughs> <laughs> it's so gorgeous! It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear, George liked being the baby piggy. Oh, George, you'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> Eek! Too scary! <laughs> George liked being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Peppa and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. 
Uh, hands up, all those who want to ride on the train. Me, me! And hands up, all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> the eye test. Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay. Where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. <laughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh. <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. <laughs> Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> Now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test. And I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Pepper. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> Pepper is at the opticians. <laughs> Mr Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. 
Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper. You look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh. Hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's holiday. Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Pepper and George. <coughs> Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <coughs> What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? <coughs> this is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake. <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. Polly likes bird seed. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> <laughs> Can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye, Peppa. Goodbye, George. <coughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Ah! Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop. Ah! <laughs> What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. Ah! Ah! Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. <laughs> Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <laughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. 
Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. <laughs> Bad seed! I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 